ever wondered how you can make the world a better place? Well, I have. Hello, my name is Kira Klizek. I'm from Fruto Middle School, and today I'm going to be talking about wave turbines. Wave turbines are a great source of renewable energy. With renewable energy, that means we wouldn't have problems with going and finding and mining for non-renewable energy that will just disappear within a couple years, roughly. And then that way, we wouldn't have to keep finding more and more places to keep digging for the oils, coals, and all other things. And with the renewable energy, that means that energy cars can start to thrive. With the energy cars then thriving, yes, they would maybe get a little bit more expensive because they're more of the new thing. That would mean that natural gases, oils, gasoline, we would need less use for that. And then that means that fossil fuels could start to catch up, if you would say. And then if we had to, we could go back to the gasoline powered cars, oil, and all of that other stuff. Now, a windmill, or sorry, a wave turbine would be shaped kind of like a windmill. And yes, they would be a little bit smaller, but the wave turbines would be shaped similar to a windmill, a giant windmill. They'd be a little bit smaller, and there would be more propellers. These pictures behind me are a rough idea of what I am thinking. And some of these pictures above me are what they would look like underwater and what it could look like above water. Above water, there would be a couple wave turbines to get the higher waves, but there would also be a windmill to then get two times the amount of energy, which would then help, again, the energy cars to start to thrive. And with the wave turbines under the water, fish could get hurt, people would say. They could get stuck into the wave turbines and it could stop the turbines and it could damage sea life. Yes, that could happen a couple times, but not many, because there would be platforms on both the top and bottom of the wave turbines to make sure that fish wouldn't swim up or down into the turbines. There would be a netting around the, the turbines themselves so that if the fish do happen to swim into them, they could bounce right back out. And another thing is that sea life, it could start to thrive and live on the pipe. What I mean by that is the coral could start to come up and then the fish could start to live in that coral, which would then not damage the sea life as much as it would if we just leave it. Also, with the sea life then growing on it, that would mean we're not just tossing out their care and hurting them, killing them, just so that we can live with as much energy as we need. With another thing that people would say would be a bad thing about the wave turbines is that they could be too close to shore. They could, they could be out so close that people couldn't surf or swim where they would like to. Well, the wave turbines would be out far enough that people could still surf and swim and then that way people don't have to worry about them as much. The wave turbines would also be where people don't tend to surf and swim, where there are still good amounts of waves, but there wouldn't be as many people around to run into them if they don't see them which would be pretty hard to. And then that would mean we could have more in the places where people don't normally hang out. And another thing would be people would say, well, you're still drilling into the earth to then make the wave turbines so that they can stand up. Yes, we would be drilling in about one to three times, but it's better than digging in hundreds of thousands of times just to get one source. For, exa for example, just in 1947-ish, there were 570 million acres 
of 700 million acres that was just for coal production alone. Think about what oil, gas, natural gas, and all other non-renewable energy sources could be. That's just the coal mining. And we have all kinds of other mining just for things that we don't use as much. And yes, we would be drilling in a couple of times, and depending on how many we build, there it could get pretty big with the numbers. But it would still be helping cut down with that oil production. And yes, people may not agree with my idea, but it's still something to think about. I hope that you guys take into my consideration. Thank you.